Hello and welcome to lesson six of my Swift tutorial for beginners video series. Now in the last lesson, you learned about the for in loop, which lets you execute a block of code for a set number of times. Well, there's another kind of loop, two actually, that allows you to loop your block of code indefinitely until a condition is met. These kinds of loops are awesome when you don't know how many iterations it's gonna take to get the job done. All right, so let's dive in and see how they work. So in this demo, we're going to go through two types of loops that are really good to use when the number of times that you need to loop for is unknown. So the first one is called the while loop. And this loop checks the condition to see if it's true. And then it's going to run your code and then check the condition again, and then run your code and check the condition again. Let's quickly take a look at the syntax for this. So you start with the while keyword, and then you have a condition, and then you have a set of braces, and then inside the braces, you have the code that you want to loop. Now notice that the condition is up there at the top. Before it even executes your code, it's going to check the condition first to see if it's true, kind of like an if statement. If that condition is not true, then your code is not going to be run at all, let alone loop. Let's jump into the playground now and let's do a demo of the while loop. So I've got this guy right here, brand new playground, fresh out of the oven. So var, uh, let's say, uh, let's use counter is equal to five. And then let's say that I want to, let's do the same example like we did before. We're going to print hello. And what we're going to do is say while counter is uh, less than, or sorry, while counter is greater than zero, I'm gonna print hello. Now, before I finish writing the syntax for this while loop, um, you can see here, it's telling me you need a set of braces. Um, but before I finish writing the syntax for this while loop, I just want you to notice one thing. So first it's going to evaluate this condition and it's true, right? You can see that counter is equal to five and five is greater than zero. So it's true. So it's gonna print hello and then it's gonna loop and check the condition again and it's gonna be true again. So it's gonna loop and it's gonna keep looping infinitely until we get a crash. There's an overflow. Uh, so let me demonstrate that. I would not recommend this if you've got a slower computer and I'm not even sure if mine's very fast. So it's, it's just gonna keep going. Maybe now Xcode has something where it's, oh, I have to run my code. Let's do that. So you can see it just, it's going bonkers, right? So I'm gonna stop that right now. It's not stopping, okay. Yeah, it's not stopping. My computer's kind of going haywire right now. Uh, so what you wanna do actually is inside this while loop, you wanna write some code to actually make it so that this condition can be false. So if we print it now, uh, sorry, if I can actually get this. Uh, yeah, so you see, I, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend you to do this, but we can still walk through the code. So while that's running my playground, let me just explain what happened here. So I basically created a while loop that ran on indefinitely until I added this code here. So this code decrements the counter by one, just like you saw the other one, which was plus equal one, and that would actually add one to the counter. This one minuses one from the counter. So it starts at five, right? So the first iteration uh, would be five and then print hello and then it would turn that counter into four because it decorate meant by one. Then loop again and four is greater than zero loops and then this line would set counter to three and then it'd go on and on and on until uh, it hits zero and then zero is not greater than zero so that is actually um, allows us to exit the loop. I knew that was a pretty bad idea. So I'm gonna try and stop this. Ah, oh, there we go. So can I run this now? I think I broke it. So I am going to actually quit Xcode right now. Take a look, let's see what we can do here. Nope. SpongeBob? I waited so long. SpongeBob? And you? Broke it. You okay, buddy? Yes. Yes, I'm okay. 
All right, guys, we're back. So all I had to do was quit Xcode and restart uh, Xcode and run my playground again. Uh, so let's run it here. All right, so we've got our hello five times, which is great. Now we can talk about our second type of loop, which is the repeat while loop. So let's, let me show you where that is. Just scroll a little uh, down further here, the repeat while loop. And let's take a look at the syntax for this. So here you have the repeat keyword followed by a set of braces. Inside the braces, you have the code that you want to loop. And then what's noteworthy is that behind the closing brace, you have the while keyword and then the condition. So notice how the condition is at the end of the loop instead of the while loop where the condition was at the top. So essentially what happens here is that your code statements are going to be run at least once. And then after it is run, it's going to check the condition. And if the condition is true, then it's going to repeat and loop it. So that's different from the while loop, which checks the condition first, and it might not even run even once if your condition isn't true. So let's go back to the playground now and test out the repeat while loop. So I am going to declare, uh, let's say, a counter two, and let's do equal five again. And I'm gonna use the repeat keyword, and I'm gonna print hello. And then here, I'm going to decrement my counter, just like we have up there. And I am going to say while counter two is greater than zero. So hello from while loop. Uh, let me do, yeah, hello from while loop. Hello from repeat while loop. And let's do that. So what happens is that we get five of these printouts from the first while loop, and we get five of these printouts from the second while loop, right? Just like we expected. However, what if I changed counter to, um, let's say negative five. Right, and I change the counter to negative five. And I run it. Well, you look at that. The while loop doesn't even run once, right? Because it checks the condition first. That's not true. It's not gonna run your code. Skip. This one, it's going to print it out first. And then it's going to realize that, hey, negative five is not greater than zero. So I'm not gonna repeat, I'm not gonna loop. So the one that you use really depends on the situation and what you're trying to accomplish. If you're writing some logic that you know you want it to happen once and it only conditionally repeats, then you would want to use the repeat while loop. However, if you want your code to only be run when certain conditions are met, and as long as that condition is still true, then you use the while loop. All right, let's recap. You learned about the while loop and the repeat while loop that lets you execute a block of code and loop it indefinitely until a condition is met. Now the while loop checks the condition first before executing the block of code and then looping. And the repeat while loop will execute your block of code first and then check your condition to decide whether or not it should repeat for another iteration. You're doing amazing so far, but I've got a question. Are you liking what you're learning so far? If so, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel by hitting that subscribe button below. I really appreciate it and you're really supporting my channel by doing that. All right, click over to lesson seven. I'll see you there.